Hi, and welcome to video two of the AdWords Editor video training course brought to you by ppccampaigngenerator.com. In this video, I want to get you familiar with the interface after you've already downloaded your account or if you've created a draft account. So, our situation is this. We downloaded our account from AdWords. We have it in AdWords Editor. We can make changes, not directly to AdWords, but we can make them on our desktop and then upload those changes to our AdWords account. So, the purpose of this video is to get you familiar with the interface here and a lot of useful features and how to navigate. For starters, you'll notice this yellow box. This yellow box appears because I haven't downloaded all my campaigns within my account. If I click this edit button, I have the choice of downloading all the campaigns from my AdWords account. I can download the current campaign that I've already downloaded. This is important if you want to get the recent changes um, or I can select specific campaigns within my account. Here we have the drop-down view of all the accounts you can hold within AdWords Editor. This is extremely useful if you're a paid search manager and you manage multiple clients you can quickly and easily access different accounts by adding them, downloading them, and storing them within AdWords Editor. This tree view area here shows you the account structure. You have your account, your campaigns, and your ad groups within each campaign. Each part is expandable and you'll find later on that this is an extremely powerful and useful feature because I can create a new campaign for instance add a new paid search campaign and what I can do go to my ad groups I can copy this ad group paste it here and now I have an ad group with all my keywords all my ads within that new campaign and that took me a few seconds. So, I can delete that. And I'm deleting it by hitting the delete key on my keyboard. And it's gone. So it's real easy to use. The next thing I want to show you are the tabs. So we have the campaign tab. If I select the account view, it will show me all campaigns within the account. If I select a specific account, so here you can see I have two campaigns within the account, but if I select in the tree view the specific campaign, I can only see the campaign within this grid area. Extensions, if you're familiar with putting business locations on your ads, you can put them here. You can also put site links with a simple click of a button right there. You have an ad groups tab. This shows you the ad groups you have within the selected campaign over here. You can also expand it to see it over here in the tree view. You have your ads. If you do display marketing, you can see audiences that you've created. Placements and your keywords within your campaign. If you wanted to see all keywords within your entire account, all you have to do is simply select it from your account level over here in the tree view. It's extremely useful. Now I want to show you the get recent changes. You can get the most recent changes from the search engines by clicking basic faster. What this does is it gets all your information, it gets the most recent changes, and it doesn't include first page bid estimates. So if I wanted to get any changes from my account, I could simply click it, campaigns I already downloaded, hit OK. It's going to go out, get all the recent changes. There are no changes at this point. If there were, there would be a message telling me what has changed and it'd be highlighted by different colored icons. 
I'll show you that in a later video. So, if you wanted to make a change, for example, if I wanted to add a, a new ad here, hit add text ad, just make it real quick, Okay, we have our new ad. I can click check changes and it will tell me that there would be one new text ad right here. Check changes. You close and then you can see a little green check mark right by it. It says that this ad doesn't have any problems being posted even though it for sure would not get approved. So that check changes tells you if it has any conflict before posting to AdWords. Let's delete that. And we're back to our standard structure. The post changes. So for example, if I wanted to add a keyword, let's go into an ad group. If I wanted to add a keyword, I would simply click add a keyword here. Let's say it was the best PPC software ever. I can change my match type to exact and then I could click post changes and it will tell me that one keyword change would occur. That one keyword change, if I hit post, would get posted to my account. If I want to see quick changes, I can click this left side column and you'll see a plus sign. This means that a new keyword would be added. Again, to delete it, simply select it and hit delete. If I want to view statistics for my account, I select view statistics. I can do it for the last 30 days, all time. Even create a custom date range right here. Just like you would in AdWords. And that's going to go out. It's going to get account statistics. And then you'll notice that these columns over here appear. If I wanted to sort by impressions, you can see that there is data in there. And if there were clicks, you would have click-through rates, and you have all these other metrics that you can use to evaluate your account performance. I barely ran this campaign just long enough to get a few pieces of data in here to show you this. If you don't want to see statistics, click don't show statistics and those columns go away. If you ever want to see certain columns that you can't quite see here, you can right click it, select the first page bid estimate, the quality score, you can even remove certain features like keyword count. I don't want to see that column, I simply select it to add it or remove it. And if you ever mess it up, you can say restore natural order. Everything will be good to go. So these are the basic features. One thing I really want to show you, though, that's the most powerful feature, in my opinion, is the ability to bulk add keywords. So when you go to the AdWords keyword tool, you get a bunch of keywords. What you can do is export those to Excel. You can come in here, click Make Multiple Changes, and then you click Add Update Multiple Keywords. You can simply paste them in here and upload them to your account. This will be shown in a later video. And that pretty much covers it for getting familiar with the interface here. So I think that's enough for this video. We've got you familiar with the interface. And in the next video, we'll expand on what we've just learned. So stay tuned.